Welcome back to Scale Me Down. This is the story of our friend Martin and his personal connection with his model Royal Aircraft Factory BE-2C World War I aeroplane. Remember to like and subscribe to support the channel. Martin stumbled across a rather dusty, forlorn looking model on a second hand stall at the Western Park Model Air Show. He immediately recognised it as a BE-2C. The type his grandfather Stanley was a navigator observer on during World War I. Martin fitted new radio gear and an OS-70 Surpass 4-stroke to get her back into flying condition. Just look and listen to the authentic working exhaust system. The Blario Experimental, or BE-2, was designed by Geoffrey de Havilland to be inherently stable for its role as an artillery spotter and aerial photography platform. Stan would have occupied the front cockpit carrying out this role when he served with 16 Squadron while stationed in Merville in northern France. During his missions over occupied Belgium, he took these photographs of enemy positions and trenches. These photographs provided vital intelligence and were used to make accurate maps like this one printed in 1918 that Martin inherited from Stan's personal effects. We recently spotted this full-size BE-2 that's being restored at the Yorkshire Air Museum at Elvington. What's striking is how basic and vulnerable the type is, with the crew sat on wicker seats surrounded by canvas and wood. Stanley went on to serve with 54 Squadron. He's pictured here in front of an RE-8. This was a development of the BE-2 that had a bit of defensive armament. As Martin's model lacks any defensive weapons yet, we shall provide some top cover using our Flare SE-5A. These two models are of a similar scale and look great flying together. However, although they're both World War I aeroplanes, the BE-2C was much earlier and much more basic. Slow and unarmed, the BE-2C was easy prey for the Fokker Eindeckers of the era. To improve their chances, some crews carried hand-wielded rifles or the carbines that the ground troops used, or even fitted a Lewis gun. Whilst reading through Stanley's history, I found that his first posting at 16 Squadron was one of the first formed under the leadership of Hugh Dowding famous as AOC Fighter Command during World War II. The squadron was also the first unit to use wireless technology to report troop movements back in 1915. Martin intends to add some more scale details to this lovely model, perhaps using some 3D printing, and for certain he's going to add a pilot and a navigator observer. Dawn Patrol safely returned. Thanks for watching and we'll see you here next time at Scale Me Down.